Ah. Oh, man, this thing is ugly. Oh, God. A, ta a tamago? Katagiri? Katagiri? Oh, my lord. This is a GTA game na car names, so that's for sure. Massachusetts. 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 I can't even read that name. I can't even say the name. Alright, well. Hop in here. Howdy, YouTube, and welcome to. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, continuing right where we left off in the last one. I want to see if I can drive this car. Oh my god, that noise. My ears are vibrating. Does this car have an exhaust leak? Man, alright. Um, I found this out. Uh, just, oh my god, that's so loud. I hope you can hear me. I, I found this out about uh, this game. You actually can take your cars to the test track, racetrack, car salon, of all things, or the speed track. This car has some problems with its brakes, so we're going to go to the test track and find out exactly what's wrong with this car. Oh, God, that's so loud. Well, it's obviously a rice burner, but damn. Okay, uh, slalom, slalom, I cannot talk. Slalom test, accelerator test, suspension test, and speed test. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Holy crap. It's slalom. Oh, my Lord, I'm going to crash. Oh my god, the brakes don't work very good. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay. And brake test, here we go. Oh, clearly the brakes don't work with a shit. Oh my god. Oh man, that was the scariest thing I've driven in a long time. Even in a video game. Alright, finally, here we go. Okay, wow. All right, well, brake disc ventilated. Brake, okay, the brake disc, uh, oh my god. Rotors are bad. Looks like three of the four pads are bad, so we'll just change them all. Uh, tie rod ends, everything else. As long as it's above 50%, it's okay. Anything anything, anything below 50% really needs to be taken. Uh, taken, uh, replacement, I mean. All right, cool. Well, let's move the car into the garage. And let's get it fixed. God, that was so loud. My ears are still ringing slightly. Oh, but... oh, let's pop into the hood right quick. And nope, all the fluids look good. Cool. Sorry about that. Status. Look at the car first. There we go. All right. So they said, well, ABS pump. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see that one listed. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get that done then. Take the wheel off. Nice clean rim. Oh, God. That oh, ugh. Yeah, that rotor is nasty. You know, in reality, you would see rust around here, maybe around right the edges, but you wouldn't see rust here. That's a bad sign. Here, and then the very edges, that's okay. But in the middle here, bad sign. All right, well, these dis pads, these actually pads are, these pads are really good. But this rotor is terrible. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. There we go. Add the shocking list. All right. Let's go around the other side. Got one bad nut. That's another thing. I, I wasn't going to mention it in the last video, but I, I felt like I have to now. I don't think I've seen so many cars with these lug studs ever. Every car I've ever worked on has always either had... No, they've always had lug nuts. The stud would be in the rotor or on the... the or on the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the hub here. Hmm, that rotor's actually in good shape. 
Anyway, it just seems strange how like every car I've done so far, even that really old car had lug studs. Okay, yeah, these pads are terrible. This rotor's okay, so we're gonna worry about that one. Uh, not gonna worry about that one. Rotor's really poor quality. Not quality, but poor condition, sorry. What about these pads? Eh, they're okay. We'll keep them. Add another rotor to the, the list. It's nice to know that the front and rear rotors are exactly the same, even though they aren't on those cars. I'm not bad about these devs, by the way. This is a great game so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's just... Being a somebody who works on cars, well, I work on my own cars mostly, and I do work in an auto parts store, so I do not consider myself an expert in any way. So don't, don't, don't believe I'm saying this. I know all this experience, but I do do know what I've worked on, and I know what I've sold. So, where is this ABS pump at? Is it, is it, is it, is it under here? Oh, there it is. ABS pump. Oh, access from the engine bay. Okay. Anyway, I don't consider myself an expert, but I do know as I do know what I've worked on, so it just seems wow, that is rusty as all can be. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. Alright. In reality I will be doing like this to get these nuts out. Just douse the whole thing in spray, that's fine. There we go. Oh, I forgot to add to the okay, hold on. You know what? Hold on. There we go. It's a really stupid way of doing it, but I don't really care. Alright, we got all the parts ready to order. Let's order them. I think it's here. Shopping list. We need uh, one disc. I think. Whoops. Oh, jeez. I hate when I do that. Ah, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I only had it on there once, so. Two brake pads. Okay. Two of those. Oh, no. Actually, we did it. <laughs> I see. I put it on there separately. My bad. That's alright. Still works. And one ABS pump. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's gonna be... Nope. Tire. Interior. Tuning. Electronics. Oh, there it is. There we go. And purchase. Wow, that thing is expensive. Wow. Holy cow. All right, cool. Parts mount. Brand new ABS pump. Get the ABS module. These thousands of tiny screws. One cool thing about this game is, just like in the previous ones. When you want to install something, or remove something, you don't have to click the mouse every time you want to do that. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to install pads. Not, nope, i got to remember what button does what. Right. New pads. Install the calipers. Calipers in good shape. Okay. For example, I'm going to hold the mouse button down. Remember, this, this nut's going to go in. If I'm still holding the mouse button down, just mouse over the other one, and boom, there it is. That's a nice feature that was from the previous game, and I'm so glad it's in this one. Although, if you're not careful, you won't get the right star pattern when you put the bolts in. I call it a star pattern. I don't know if everybody else calls it a star pattern. Alright, let's put the new loader in place. Come on. And I think the pads back here were in good shape, so we're just going to put these ones back on here. Ah, okay. Nope. Right. There we go. Nice. Alright, that's the rear done. 
front now. Oh, but there we go. I think this one, I'll, yeah, no? No, this one actually had some bad ones, so we'll put a new pads on it. Seems kind of slow right now, but I have to get through the basic stuff before I can actually get to the part of the game where you can find cars and repair them and stuff. That's what I want to do. I know I'm sure some of you who actually are mechanics are going to be like, Why are you putting the old pads on a brand new road? I don't know. I actually, I wasn't really paying attention to that, so it is kind of not fun. Well, old, it shouldn't make that much of a difference. I mean, maybe in real life, but in this game, it should. Alright, oops. That close. Okay. Alright, car status. Da, 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 da. That's it. Car's done. Let me let it down on the ground first before I <laughs> say it's done. Alright, close the hood. I almost forgot. Uh, wrong one. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Inventory. Inventory. Where is that? Okay. I sold everything I, I had last time. <laughs> I forgot about the filters. I ended up hitting sell all. But I got this. So first things first. Let me sell this other stuff very quick. Further on down the road, if you can, you can keep stuff like that and use it on other cars to sell them to get rid of it quickly. All right. I'm going to open a case. Check this out. I get to choose a card. Okay. <laughs> Bonus case. And uh, uh, that one. Hey, some experience. Nice. Open the next case. Do it all over again. And I'm going to choose this one. More experience. And. Yeah. And some credits. <laughs> nice. Nice little feature. Alright, I'm level 2 now, but I don't know if that means like that means anything. The game hasn't actually said, hey, now you can do this now. I don't know if it's going to, so let's we'll find out. What do we got here? Looks like a Subaru or something. And that looks like a Mini Cooper. Uh, hi, my name is Joanna, referred to here by my neighbor. He's a car dealer here that you're returned Repair shop has been up and running quite recently, but you look like a promising mechanic. Why, thank you. It's almost an annual service time. My buddy doesn't seem to have any problem, buddy. I'm assuming it's the car, she means. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Please change the oil filters, fill the missing fluids. I haven't had time for that recently. John mentioned that there was tapping in the camshaft. Oh, your motor's screwed. I don't know what that he meant. Perhaps he'll take... It'll make more sense to you. Please take care of my... Okay, sure. Why not? Let's go for it. Tapping in the camshaft? That doesn't sound good. Can I take it for a test drive? I don't know if it'll let me. Nope. Of course. They dr drive the car here with no oil in it. That makes sense. Macro... <laughs> Micro 1. <laughs> These license plates are great. All right, let's go. Gang it inside. This one might be a long one because I have a feeling I'm going to have to test drive it after I fix everything else. All right, well, let's get it on the lift. All right, car status. All right, John, blah, 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 blah. Okay, wow, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Part not discovered. Oh, great. Okay, well, belt tensioner, brake pads, camshaft gear, camshaft itself, idler roller, ignition coil, foil filter, four rubber bushings, serpentine belt, and spark plugs. Okay, and oil, of course. 
Drain old, drain old, drain old, refill, refill. Alright, well, let's do all the fluids first. Oh, whoa. This should take but a minute. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Add some moisture fluid to it. That still looks pretty good to me, so I don't know why you need to change it, but whatever. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it was in good shape, so I took it off. That's that's why. Nobody saw that. Obviously, you don't need to fully fill it up completely. Whoa, okay, game, easy now. Anyway, drain out the old fluid. God, it sounds really weird. That's the washer fluid, any, uh, washer fluid, power steering fluid, antifreeze or coolant, whatever you want to call it. Um, break fluid, yes, that's good stuff. You know, I've never removed fluid like that before, so I, I can't actually see when I'm, okay, I'll just have to guess. Alright, those fluids are done, so let's go ahead and raise it up, drain the oil, because we're going to have to drain the oil anyway to get to the, uh, the other thing, the, the uh, camshaft. Not a lot of oil there. Oops. There we go. Get the filter out of there. Oh, hold on. Add, fil add filter to part, part, list, whatever. Let's get the engine stuff taken care of first. All right, so let's see here. Uh, ignition coils. One of the coils was bad, wasn't it? Oh, must be that one. Because this one's question mark, question mark. 78%, okay. 85%. 77%, whoa, easy now. 9%, okay, yeah. I hate to do this, but I'm stupid. Hang on, can I do it like this? No, it's going to have the... Well, maybe. Oh, it did! God, I don't have to put the part back in there. Cool. All right, let's... Oh, gosh. All right. Uh, spark plug. That's questionable. Let's take it out. 81%. Okay, we can put that one back in. No big deal. What this one? 26%. Yeah. Okay. That one's 79%. I can already tell you that one's bad. Let's go ahead and add it to his list. Yeah, 31%. Yep. No way. All right. It'd be nice if you could tell parts were bad on cars like that in real life, right? Okay, yeah. Camshafts aren't supposed to be rusty. Uh, what? How does this camshaft perfectly clean and that one's rusty? How does that... You know what? I don't, I'm don't. i not even going to question it. Wait, can I just do this? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. There we go. It's annoying I have to do them one at a time, but... At least these camshaft caps are in good shape. Got that part, but now we're gonna have to. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Um. Pull 
normally comes off first. And the belt. Then we could take off the crankshaft pulley, almost the camshaft pulley. They do not come off that easy. Timing cover. Uh, you know, under normal circumstances, I'm sure you'd have to remove... Yeah, the power steering reservoir would have to come out of the way. And I guess we're going to cheat it because it's a game. Yeah. So, in all reality, uh, I would not have filled this up with fresh fluid. I would have drained it, removed it, so I can get to this. But we're just going to pretend I did that. Alright, let's take off the belt tensioner. Nope, oh, hold on. Add to list. Roller, add to list, because that is nasty. Now I'll take it off. Nope, oh, what? Oh, the belt. Wait, do we need the belt? Oh, yes. Belt too. Nope. Okay, camshaft gear. Gonna add that to the list. Camshaft itself, add to list. Let's see here. Whoa! Time and cover. shape. I just have to take off, I think, this one. There we go. Now the camshaft itself should come out now. Yep, there we go. Alright, cool. I think that's everything that's under this area. Oh. The bushings. Okay, hold on. Um... Ah, okay. Yeah, whoop, whoop, okay. Oh, eh, no, no, yeah, no. There. Uh, right, it. come on. I'm gonna click on that one. Nope, not that. Ah, nope, ah, jeez. Okay, controls are not very helpful. Okay. Got those ones, and I think I, did I see some back here? Wait, it said four bushings, didn't it? it was four, wasn't there? Yeah, rubber bushings four. Got those two. Oh, they're in the back. Ah, here we go. the rear pads now. Well, the rotors look a decent shape, but those pads are pretty nasty. Yep, yuck. So I think two of those. How's this rotor looking? Eh, good shape. Other side. Years ago, I had a customer come in my store. She was panicky. Oops, I didn't mean to add a third again. She was losing her damn mind. Uh, I felt bad for her. Her son kept telling her that there was nothing wrong with her car. Her car was perfectly fine. Well, clearly there was something wrong with her car, because every time she hit the gas, there was a loud thunk. Let's see anything about rotors, right? Brake pads, tensioner, part not discovered. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion that these rotors or pads up front are not in good shape. Anyway, she uh, begged me to go outside and look at it, and I said, okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll look at it. her car on the other side of the parking lot. And, oh, that rotor is nasty for sure. Anyway, um, 
Oh, these pads are history. Look at that. Yeah, 25%. No, wait. This is rotor 2. 27%. Yeah, no. Anyway, let's try this side now. Oh, I can see through the rim. That's nasty. Anyway, I tell her to open the hood. And I'm looking around, but I can see something's not right. The engine looks like it's sideways. I don't mean sideways, it's sideways, it, you know, it's a front-wheel drive car, but I mean, the engine looked like it was leaning more on one side in the bay than it should have. So I told her to, uh, while I was outside, to hit the gas and go forward slightly. The whole engine just went kerflump and hit the firewall. I said, okay, your motor mounts are broken. And she about lost her mind, you know. I'm like, I, I tried to calm her down, like, hold on a minute now. Uh, I can shoot oil. I only need one of them. Okay, get rid of that. Spark plugs. We need two spark plugs. Anyway, needless to say, I, I, uh, told her to... I sent the video, I recorded a video on my phone, I sent it to her. And told her to send that to her son. And tell him that he's an idiot. With, with respect. <laughs> Oops. Um, because he was an idiot, telling her there was nothing wrong with her car. And there was, it, it was seriously damaged, so. It really kind of frustrated me because, you know. Anyway. Uh, anyway, I, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Bottom line is, uh, as far as I know, she got it fixed. She was happy as can be. Nope, nope, crap, wrong button. Man, this is a lot of stuff for this car. Actual camshaft now. Need four of these. Um, I think I only need four brake pads, not five. And two discs. All right, that should be everything, I think. All right, let's uh, start with the rear brakes. This one's rotor seems to be okay, so we're gonna put new pads on it. level up and unlock more stuff, I'll be able to zip those uh, lug nuts and stuff off much faster, so it won't take so long. No, let's do the suspension before I forget about that. That's a long bolt. Alright, uh, come on. Nope, nope. Re ha, remember what buttons rotate. There we go. There you go. Nope, we're good. Hey, that should be everything for the rear now. those from the rear, at the bottom.
why I keep zooming in when I flip the wheel and it just zooms in. I got the wheel up. Right there. One. I hate to have to keep listening to mount. Like, I'm all right, obviously I'm gonna mount. There's nothing more to take off. That came out right, wrong. So just disregard what I just said. everything there so let's put the engine back together All right. camshaft check uh, camshaft gear on this side this back together before we forget about it. Right. So, let's see. I guess the belt is next on this side. No, idler. Now the belt. Okay. Belt tensioner. And then the whole cover. Oh, of course. Crankshaft pulley. And I guess. No, wait. Oh, oh, that, that, oh, come on, click the right thing. There we go. Okay, and this idler roller. All right, cool, that's done. Then the camshaft caps. Ah, stop moving. I'm trying to click it so I can zoom in and <laughs> Not cooperating. Ah. Getting a little too click it, uh, cl uh, mouse happy, I guess. Click, 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 click. There you go. Alright. Let's put the cover back on, I guess. Probably not how you're supposed to do this, but... Alright, let's go ahead and put the spark plugs back in there. Good shape. Alright, fine, I'll put the coil in there too. One percent, I mean. Seventy-eight percent still good. Last but not least, this car spark plug and coil. Seventy-nine percent. And seventy-seven percent. There we go. All right, that should be all the. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, that should be all the parts. Now we just need to add oil. That's everything. Uh, yep. Brake discs, brake pads. Yeah, that's for the extra parts. Wait, what? Ignition coil. I already did replace the ignition coil and a spark plug. Didn't I? Did I actually put the same ones back in there? Is that 100%? Is 
31, 26, yeah. Hundred and thirty nine, yeah. What the heck? Eighty five percent. Hundred percent. What the heck's going on here? Turn everything off except those two. Let's see what I missed. Let's see how I missed it. Hey, it's just those two that are lit now. It's both of these? 77%. 79. Really? That's not good enough? Alright, fine. I'll buy two more. Oh, crap. Here, I thought I'd be done by now. It would help if I go to the right page. Nope, I have to... Oh, my gosh. I keep hitting escape to go back. Electronics, there we go. One more coil. And a spark plug. everything? Hey, there we go. Okay. Strange, huh? I would have expected those parts to be perfectly fine, but I guess not. Alright then, well, that took way more time than I thought it would. Oh, got another crate. Uh, these two are in decent shape. We're gonna keep them, but we're gonna sell everything else. Filters in decent shape too. I guess we'll keep those three. No, no, we don't need to keep anything at the beginning. Nice thinking. All right, let's open this crate. And one and a two. Hey, bonus crate. And one. Ooh, nice. And two. Bonus. But what does that mean? I don't know what that is. Okay, barn location. This is what I was talking about. You find barn locations that have rare vehicles in them. You buy the vehicle, you fix it up, you just fix it up as best possible because, you know, it's not going to be cheap. And you turn around and sell it. Cool. All right, then. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. That took a lot longer than I anticipated it would. Oh, boy. It looks like we got our work cut out for us in the next group. Either way, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. It's, it seems a little slow, but it will pick up eventually. I may do a few side jobs here without recording, because, you know, same stuff, boring stuff. Don't need to well record everything. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you did enjoy the video, you still know what to do. Either way... Oh, I can't raise and lower the lift. Oh, well. Either way, thanks for watching.